Hi, welcome to another tutorial in Katia V5 Generative Shape Design. This time I want to do another user wish. I got a drawing from him and I really don't know what it's for, but I try to model it at least in a similar to his drawing. Therefore I need a circle first and some planes. Maybe I start with the planes. I already made some geometrical sets and I need a plane with an offset from another plane. This one. One is uh, 15 millimeters. Okay. Another one with an offset of 400 minus 13 and another one with an offset of 400. Yes, okay. Then I need some circles. Define a work object. I want a circle, center should be this one, should be zero, 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 so I go there, create point, coordinates and OK, and the radius should be, I think it's the radius is 40, and the support should be this plane and it should be a full circle. Okay. And another circle. Same center. Or let's make it 400, that's set 400. Okay. Radius should be 25 and support should be that plane. You could use a parallel plane as well. And OK. And then I want to make a surface. I will use a multi section surface. It's this one from this circle to that circle. You could do it with a revolve, of course, and it would be better, but that is convenient. Okay, and I can hide these. Then I need two helices. So I go for helix number one. It's right here. Starting point should be Point. This should be 50. Pitch should be 100 and the height should be 400. And the axis should be this one. And seems the point. should be on zero preview. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Then I need another one. So just notice this helix should be, of course, in the this geometrical set. So I move it right up here and make another one. It should start create point. Fifty and maybe ten. Yes. Okay. 
and pitch should be 100 and there should be a law start value 100 s type and value 110 close there should be four revolutions and the axis should be again the set axis yeah so you see and okay i got two helices and the distance becomes wider because the pitch follows a law okay then i need a surface I will make a sweep a line sweep with draft direction the guide curve should be the first helix draft direction should be this for example and the length should be 30 let's check I want this direction preview yeah okay that's okay yeah then I want to split the surface on that curve no on that curve Okay, I want to split it this on that curve. Yes. So you see you get this. Okay. Nice. And I will make two more sweeps. Another sweep right here again with draft direction. So first curve should be helix one. Draft direction should be, for example, this plane or again that plane doesn't matter. Take a look at maybe the angle is 65. Yes, and I want to go for. Let's take a look. That direction and it should go up to this surface. Let's take a look. Yeah, looks nice. Okay. And then I need another one. Now with helix two, same draft direction. So I'll go for that plane again. Yes. So maybe I should extend it a little bit because otherwise, okay. So I will extrapolate this one along that surface and make it, let's say, 20. It should do it. Oh no, maybe a little bit more. Let's make 40, it doesn't matter. Okay, and now I can make a sweep which ends on that surface sweep guide curve should be the second helix draft direction as before this one and now limited by this surface and I want to go for let's take a look 
this direction. Hopefully it works, otherwise I have to change. Yes, worked, okay. Nice. Now I should I will connect the sweep, that sweep and the split. Okay. I will split join on that plane, other side, okay, I will split this surface on that plane, other side, okay, and same thing uh, on the sand, hopefully, yes, I think it should work. So make another split, split, let's split two on that plane, okay, and split this one on that plane two, other side, okay. Maybe I hide the curves. Yes. Now I have to Let's take a look. Yeah. Now let's trim that surface on that surface. And okay, let's have a look. Looks good. Yes. And now I could set this one in work, change to the part design, and I could close the surface because both ends could be closed with a planar face. So I will go for close surface, close this surface, and OK. Hide the last surface, and I got, I could hide the planes as well. Yes, that's more like it. Yes. And I'm done. So I will try to do the same model in the other programs. See you with these videos later on. Bye bye.